Spotify rap. Spotify rap. Spotify rap. The Spotify rap. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ladies and gentle bitches, it is that season yet again that I, as a Spotify user, look forward to all year. And you know, every year I just hope and pray that my Spotify reflects somewhat of my own taste. I mean, last year's was just this guy <laughs> not really accurate, and I, and I think that that played a part in my job, this thing that I'm doing right now, you know, my career. I tend to listen to Spotify when we cover albums, hence it kind of giving me some of the stuff that it did, which I'm not gonna quite share quite yet. We're gonna be playing a game, that's right, with everybody here called Who's Spotify, Who's, <laughs> We're going to be playing a game called Who's Your Top Spotify Artist, Dude? Yeah! yeah! I'm expecting a lot of Taylor. I, re I, I am. If, if, the, if we're not getting like a couple Taylors, then I will be thoroughly surprised. But, you know, I, I, I don't think that that's going to come as a... Uh, <laughs> A surprise to any any of y'all. Now, this was created by the lovely Leah, our Discord mod. Shout out to Leah, as well as my incredible wife helping us out this morning. Yes! Let's give it up for Angela. Let's go. She's in the other room. She's probably not going to come on stream, but, you know, it's, 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 it's chill. It's chill. Okay, let's go. First one. We're diving into it. All right. Black background, top genre for this person is Broadway. So I'm guessing that's like theatrical stuff. Okay, I, I don't see Hamilton anywhere in here. That that would kind of be a jump scare, I feel. But we get uh, we get 21 Pilots for their second. The Beatles. <laughs> and then BTS. Beatles over the BTS, I feel like is kind of rare nowadays. You know, like that's... Like, I can tell that you really, this person definitely does appreciate the greats. Andrew Lloyd, I don't know who, the, I, don't, I, 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 I can only assume this is Andrew Lloyd Webber. I don't know who that is. Their, their top songs, maybe we can get a little oh, bit more out of. The first one is Radioactive by, by Imagine Dragons? Oh my God. Okay, Cruel Summer. Okay, their artists, I, I can already tell you right now. With Cruel Summer being that high into the top artists with these, I think it's Taylor. I think it's Taylor. What do we think? It's Taylor. Yeah, I'm thinking Taylor. Yeah, it is gonna be Taylor. Let's go. We got it right. Hell yeah. Radioactive my alarm song. Troy, please don't hold it against me. <laughs> I was judging on the on the radioactive. That's so funny. Dude, that as your as your wake up song is so effective just because holy shit does it not just want to make you turn it off <laughs> that's so good dude that's so funny okay um i'm also well aware i listen to way too much broadway but i'm in rehearsals for two shows uh right now in my town okay that's acceptable congratulations uh for being in two shows that's so much brain work i don't even know how you would attempt doing that uh, two different characters. So that's really cool. That makes sense with the Broadway. Uh, 35,000 minutes is also, I feel like, fairly average. Um, but cool, yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> Taylor, cool. I, 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 what if just the, the entire rest of them were just Taylor Swift? <laughs> oh my God, that'd be so funny. All right, next one. Oh God, I'm, I'm worried. Oh, Greta Van Fleet. Holy shit, as the second artist. Let's... Let's get it. And I also see all of the songs right here. We have uh, Meeting the Master. That's Greta Van Fleet. Your Needs, My Needs, which is, I'm pretty sure that's Hosier, my big boy Hosier. Amsterdam, Stick Season, Noah Khan, All My Love. Who is, I don't know who All My Love is. Top genre is rock though. And it's 40 or 54,000 minutes listened. Wow. Top artists are Greta Van Fleet, George Harrison, The Beatles. Okay, a lot of Beatles in here. Do y'all really listen to The Beatles? Should I listen to The Beatles for the first time in my life? Is that is, is, is that what this is getting at? Y'all think it's Noah? Yeah, yeah. Because I see Noah in here for Stick Season and Your Needs, My Needs. So yeah, I feel like that's a pretty, a pretty safe bet. 
but top genre being rock oh that's just that that's probably because of Greta Van Fleet and George Harrison yeah 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 okay so I think I'm gonna say Noah too I think I'm gonna say Noah too I'm getting a good feeling from Noah from Noah for this okay so let's um let's let's see if it's Noah Noah Khan let me see Noah Khan yeah let's go let's go hell yeah okay I know you're a big fan of my second artist Moving on. Moving on. All right. All right. The next one. The next one is coming in at 33,000 minutes. Top genre is pop. Let's go. Another pop listener, baby. Uh, we have Lizzie McSchmalpine, Lake Street Drive, Taylor at fourth, and then Eloise. Okay, tight. I just listened to Eloise on the new uh, Wheel, Spin the Wheel, episode two. Go check that video out. But, uh, okay, all right, so, so kind of some singer-songwriter energy. Singer-songwriter energy, okay, okay. Lizzie McSchmalpine, Aloise, hmm. End scene, top songs are end scene, reckless driving, erase me, ceiling. So a lot of Lizzie McAlpine. I'm kind of surprised Liz Lizzie McAlpine isn't the very top. Dude, oh my God, watch it be like twice or something. Oh my God, that's crazy. Rule? I know I've heard that name, but I don't know. It's a lot of female artists as well. I don't know. I don't know if a man is going to be up at the top. I really don't know. I I I I can't see that. I just don't know. Um, if not Rule, ooh, Gracie could be up there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe Gracie. I'm actually gonna say Gracie. I'm gonna say Gracie Abrams. Yeah, because Lizzie's Lizzie's right there, and I feel like this person would definitely probably be all about Lizzie McAlpine or Gracie Gracie McAbrams. <laughs> Can you give me a hint? Yeah. Okay. Just use context. Use context clues. Okay, we're getting a hint from 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 Angela. Use context clues. I mean, that's kind of all I'm doing. Like the artists? How long their name? Oh, Gracie Abe. Gracie Abrams is too long. I feel like that's kind of cheating, but that's okay. I'm a cheater. I'll use it. I'll use it. Whatever. Uh, uh, rule is short. Oh, fuck, it's rule, isn't it? Oh, yeah, god damn it, it is rule. I didn't... Bruh. Bruh, I did not, I did not guess rule. I, that, that, that is a, that is a L for me. Because I really did, I really did think it might have been Gracie. Yeah, holy shit, very attractive. A very attractive uh, young man, I would say. I mean, the hairline alone is just incredible, so. Yeah. Okay, cool, from V, or Vi. Very nice. 33,000 minutes listened. Healthy, I would say. All right, moving on to the next one. Oh, shit. We have some Japanese. All right, When the Night Is. Some Japanese. Montana Sky is a Jonas Brothers song. Uh, Hand As My Arrow, and then Jaded from Miley. Hiraku Yutada, Lord Huron, Eve, and Gorillaz. 19,000 minutes listens. Top genre is pop. Dude, I'm getting, like, Daft Punk energy from this. You think it's Miley? I don't think it's Miley. Because why would the top song... Uh, top artists. I need to know how Spotify actually makes this shit. Because, like, like where, where are they getting the information from? You know? Jonas Brothers? I'm thinking... I mean, Daft Punk, I know, it's kind of everywhere. But I'm, I see Gorillaz down here, which is kind of like that old classic energy. Lord Huron, I feel like, is also kind of classic. I don't know Eve, and I don't know... Hikaru Yutada. So, I don't know. That's where I'm kind of getting. $10,000 on Miley? Okay. Okay, Eve. I'm going to take you up on that. I'm going to take... No, I can't. I can't, I can't do 10 I can't do 10K. Bro. I can't do 10K. How about this? Uh, if, if it's not Miley, I'm going Daft Punk, dude. I'm going... I'm, I'm, I'm going... Actually, no. I'm going Jonas Brothers. Jonas Brothers. Yeah. Let me see Jonas Brothers. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Miley who? Miley who? 
Let's go, dude. Holy shit, that got me hype as fuck. Oh my god, I actually got that one. God damn. Yeah, Daft Punk was a little everywhere. But I see Montana Sky and I'm like, that's that's kind of the that's kind of one of the bops from that album. I kind of really like that one. Good taste, Alyssa. Good taste. Good taste. I approve. I approve. All right. Mmm. I feel like I'm warming up. Holy shit. 92,000 minutes listened. God damn, this person listened to a lot of music. Shit. And Taylor is not the number one? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So, number two, Taylor. 1975 next. SZA, Beyonce. So, so some pretty big contenders up here. And I can see it's kind of a small thing up here as well. The songs are Everything, August, Silk Chiffon, Anything But Me, Lavender Haze. I'm gonna, I'm, you know who listens to a lot of goddamn music? You know who listens to a lot of goddamn music? The gays. Let me see Muna, yeah, let's go, it's Muna. <laughs> Y'all are predictable, baby, predictable. Oh, love the girls and the gals and and the theys and everyone, every, every everybody, everybody. Holy shit! One hundred and thirty-one thousand minutes listened. Top genre is indie pop. All right, and the top songs are Guthrie, Moon Song, Salt in the Wound, Trust, and Marionette. Okay, so top artists. I feel like I have a good idea about who this might be. Um because we see Phoebe Bridgers, we see Boy Genius, and we see Lucy Dacus, we're only missing one. Can I see Julian Bacar? Oh, yeah! There we go, baby. This is easy. This is easy. You put together the fact that the minutes listened is just like fucking something outrageous, and it's like, yeah, yeah, come on. Dude, this is impressive. I honestly haven't really dived too deep into Julian Baker's music, but maybe this is a sign I should, dude. See, I always kind of forget that, like, there is definitely, like, a type of person that just, like, goes to school and does not take off their headphones and is just constantly listening to something. And I forget that because I'm, like, kind of, you know, I'm in my own world now. You know, this is my job. And it's, like... That is just such a reality for some people. And I kind of love it, you know? I kind of miss how much, like, seeing all these numbers fluctuate, it's, like, kind of just inspiring a little bit to me. I don't know. But let's see. Let's go for the next one. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing this is... Tops... <laughs> mm, I think it's Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'll try to guess your favorite artist. <laughs> clean, clean, very nice. But okay, I like the spread here too. Reputation, two reputations, two midnights, and then one 1989. Okay, all right. I mean, I mean, if you want, if you, if sure, sure. I mean, this wouldn't be my my Taylor top songs, you know, not not for me. But yeah, sure, you could you could do that if you wanted to. <laughs> Oh, hey, Breakins, let's go. Hey, there we go. All right, Breakins, Pink Panthers, Caroline Polachek in Magdalena Bay. 43,000 minutes listened. Top genre is indie pop. Now, this could be tricky, but I feel like... See, One Direction pulls me into, like, Glaive territory, but the other direction pulls me into, like... Like, maybe mm, indie pop. Indie pop. Yeah, I could see Phoebe. I don't think it's Phoebe, though. I don't think it's Phoebe. One Direction? <laughs> Dude, if anybody is still listening to One Direction, I am not surprised. They have a lot of good songs. <laughs> Claro? Oh, Claro is actually also a really good pick. Yeah, Breakin's Hyperpop, Pink Panthers is the UK kind of thing. Caroline Polachek is just kind of like great art pop, and I'm not familiar with the fifth. So, I want to lean electronic. I want to lean maybe Hyperpop. This is why I kind of say Glaive. Yin to Yang, I don't know. 
Demi Moore, I don't know, 5G, I know, stream. This could be like, this could also just be Yeet. Like Yeet could be up here, right, right here. I don't know, dude. If it was any, ooh, Mitski. I'm gonna say Glaive. I just, ah, uh, no, 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 I can't, no, I'm not. Oh man, that's a good pick. Dude, y'all are saying it's Phoebe? Dude, I don't think it's Phoebe. I'm gonna go Mitski. I'm gonna go Mitski because this is a little bit above average and I feel like this person who also listened to Caroline Polachek would also kind of get down with the new Mitski. Like I, I, I feel like that could be a potential. Let's go, let's go Mitski. Let's go Mitski. Whoa. I don't feel too bad because I actually don't know this artist, but Kalela. Kalela, hold on, what is, what is Kalela? I'm, I'm interested now, actually. Ooh, okay. So it's kind of like that slower UK club kind of thing. Oh, she appears on the Pink Panthers album? Oh, that's so tight. God, I gotta check out that Pink Panthers album, dude, shit. Ooh. Oh, I like her vocals too. Oh, I like the production. Oh, it feels like I just walked into Zara. Hell yeah. I love that feeling. Okay, let's keep it going. The next one is <gasps> Matthew Walden? My boy? Oh, can we give it up one time for Matt? Holy shit. Make it into the top artist for somebody. Let's go. Okay, and now we have also One Direction, Harry Styles, and Pitbull. Okay. I'm thinking Nile, dude. Okay, top songs, L2L, Bloodhound. Oh, no, 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 no. Heat Waves. Okay. Dog Days Are Over, as it was. Okay, so that's kind of why Harry Styles is a little bit farther down. Y'all are saying five singles of the summer. That's what I was about to say because I see the One Direction and I see the Harry Styles, and it's like, okay, you know, that could be a potential, you know, for for five singles of the summer. Some of that audience overlaps, but then I'll tell you what the giveaway is. It's Pitbull, and actually, I think I know whose this is too. Is this is this Carlene's? Oh no, it's Steph's! Oh, it is five seconds of summer, dude. Oh man, I was literally gonna say it's either Steph or Carlene's, bro. Oh my god, dude. Five seconds of summer coming in with another dub, bro. All right. Very fun. Very cool. Wow. What a great picture of them, too. Um. <laughs> like you weren't surprised. Okay. All right, next one. Okay, so we have top artist for this one is Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Ariana Grande, and Doja Cat. Okay. 47,000 minutes listened. And all of the top songs are capitals. Evil, Void, Death, and Nymphology. I know who this is, bro. This is relentless, man. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. The fans are relentless, okay? <laughs> Let me see Melanie Martinez. God, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Not surprised by this in the slightest. Yeah, I fucking am. I mean, this surprise. I mean, just the sheer look of the 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 cosplay is scaring the shit out of me. So, yeah. Good for, good for you, Ren. Great for you. <laughs> Great for you, Ren. That's that's so nice. I'm so I'm so glad you're having so much fun with Melanie Martinez. I really am. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into the album. Just I don't think it's for me. But uh, I did listen, and it's you know it's it is what it is. I guess she does a really good job of creating like this uh, very strong uh, aesthetic of kind of creepiness and uh, weird like sexual gratification through like cruelty it, it just kind of is a weird vibe for me it just kind of scares me a little bit but but good for you happy 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 for you Ren. <laughs> moving on all right here we go all right what is dude what the f favorite is this german 
they're all just different flavors of favorites. Minutes Lescent? Holy shit, this is crazy. What is alt? Okay, I can only assume that this is a genre. What is alt Z? I gotta figure that out. What What is alt Z? Alt Z, short for alternative hip hop. Oh, alternative hip hop. Dude, and the first artist that they bring up here is fucking Alec Benjamin. <laughs> that is not alternative hip hop. I am so sorry to tell you. Uh, I, I do love that boy. I do love him. He is an incredible songwriter. This I feel very strong Gracie Abrams energy with. Because we have the pop girlies. And I feel like it's just going to, you know, it's going to fill out the squad, right? But who else also could, you know, who else also could? Tate. Tate McRae could also fit in there. Maybe Conan Gray. I don't know. I don't know. Beba Doobie. Ooh, that's actually. Oh, shit. You're right. Beba Doobie could totally be the top artist in this. But I feel like this is a little bit. I don't know. Is she mainstream enough to like fit into this group? I don't know. Dude, I fuck with Biba Doobie, though. I need to listen to some of her albums. I've only listened to, like, a single or two. Renee Rapp. Ooh, that's also true. I'm going to still go Gracie. I'm going to go Gracie. Yeah, I'm going to go Gracie. I'm going to go Gracie Abrams. Show me Gracie Abrams. Yeah, let's go. I pin y'all. I just know it. I just know you so well. Let's go. This is so much fun. Holy shit. Oh, that's lit, dude. I'm knocking these out. Addison Ray. I would love to see somebody have an Addison Ray. That would be so much fun. Dude, why am I actually kind of like really good at this? Kind of crazy. Okay, next one. Next one we have. Okay. All right. A little alternative pop artist grouping. Harry Styles. Not really alternative pop, but you know good pop five seconds of summer panic of the disco and the 1975 now this i feel like could be like halsey you could go halsey you could go 21 pilots you know both of those big contenders you could also go luke hemmings absolutely i do see the doja cat sneak down here <laughs> doja cat sneaking in the bottom dude what the fuck starting line is a luke hemmings uh, English Love Affair is Five Seconds Summer. Uh, that's Harry Styles. Satellite is also Harry Styles. So yeah, kind of surprising that um, the two top Harry Styles songs, and he's at number two. So um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This could be... I don't think it's 21 Pilots anymore. I don't think it's Halsey. Dude. It might be Luke. I think I am gonna... Dude, that's so funny if this is Doja Cat. I'm gonna fucking die if this is Doja Cat. Okay. I'm going to say Luke Hemmings because it's 55,000 minutes listened. And I feel like if you're going to do 55,000 minutes, there's bound to be like an overlap a little bit. Or this could be simply one direction up here. That could also be a huge, huge sneak up at the top. I'm going Luke, dude. I'm going Luke. Oh, no. <laughs> Blown away. Blown to pieces by Taylor. I forgot about her. She snuck in. Oh, no. Dude, Taylor Swift sneaking in on these top songs as well. Like, none of them are, are Taylor songs. <laughs> wow. That is uh, that is actually so funny. <laughs> Smiley face from Amy. Okay. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. 55,000 minutes is also... Uh, pretty understandable i mean the, the, these are all pretty heavy hitters panic kind of fell off a little bit but you know it's it's still it's still you know it's fine but dude that's so funny <laughs> i really thought it would have been like doja or somebody but damn taylor bro that's so funny <gasps> yes taylor being above harry i am a child of divorce oh my god let's go next one this is so much fun no idea who the top song there, no idea who the top artist is on this one. It's completely blacked out. Can't tell how long it is. But the second artists go like this. Hozier, Noah Kahn, 97.5, and Lewis Capaldi. We got 33,000 minutes listened. And the top genre is POV Indie. Now, what's the difference between POV Indie and just Indie? 
is it like TikTok indie? Like they're saying that it's like this is TikTok. This is like indie songs that you'll find like POV wise. POV? You literally just found indie as a genre? <laughs> and this is it? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Eat Your Young, top song. About You. Love from the underground, I'm assuming. I Miss You. I'm sorry, I assume. And then j- too, too long. Too long titles. I feel like these are probably uh, the 1975 songs. So judging from this, though... It's a lot of male energy. I feel like it would it would make sense for a male to dominate the number one spot for this person. Lana Del Rey? Don't know. Don't know. Somebody that, it's, it's gotta be somebody that has like a really strong songwriting ability. And they probably play guitar. They probably, or at least they probably have acoustic in their songs man oh dude it's taylor again it's taylor again oh my god harry styles i don't know y'all really think it's taylor again oh my god oh my god okay i'm gonna click it i'm gonna click i don't know i don't know who it is i just feel like this is this is all pushing me towards like a male artist i don't know oh but who else is up there sean mendez no no not 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 above hosier not a hosier Oh, man. Dominic Fike, maybe. Post Malone. Greta? Oh, my God. It's Greta Van Fleet. Oh, it's Post Malone! Oh, wow. Wow. Lenka. Lenka. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for thinking that you listened to Greta Van Fleet. I, I apologize. I apologize. Post Malone. Wow. Posty coming in. Dude, that's huge, man. What a list. You got some, you got good taste, dude. Other than Lewis Capaldi, you got you got some <laughs> you got some good shit, man. Good shit. Dude, that post album has honestly just grown on me. I, I honestly f- feel like I need to change it. Uh I, I I gotta go back. All right, here we go again. Top artists starting with Muna Hosier. Beyonce and Peach PRC. Again, I'm sorry. I, I'm there's just a running list of fifth top artists that I do not know. I don't know Peach PRC. Y'all are saying Dua. Okay. What I want, that's Muna. Perfect for you, I'm not sure. SX is Rina Sawayama. I would say Rina, maybe, but it's a little too short. Dance the night. I'm guessing, and then solid. That's also Muna. Is this person potentially part of the LGBTQ community? <laughs> Dua Lipa. Yeah, I can see Dua Lipa. It's dancey. It's dancey. I can also kind of see um maybe Taylor in here as well. Honestly, I can see that. Sixty-four thousand minutes. You're gonna have to. You're gonna need a lot of a lot of music to fill up that time. Top genres being pop. Mitski, I don't know. Muna's dancey. Hozier is kind of introspective. Beyonce's dancey. Maybe we are going for another introspective bop. Maybe. Ooh, a Troy Sivan. You know what? I think you guys were actually really, really on point with the with the Dua Lipa energy. I'm gonna say Dua Lipa too. Let's let me see Dua Peep. Let me see Dua Peep. Okay. Oh, okay. God, Taylor, oh. shut through the heart. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. All right, Michaela. All right, Michaela. Ah, respect, respect. It's it's Taylor's year, man. It is just Taylor. I, you know, I just don't know. I guess I, I, I guess I don't know y'all as much as I, I thought I did, but. I mean, out of left field, dude. Not even a Taylor song in the top songs. I feel like that's that the top songs is what's kind of getting me to to feel feel out what the artist might be. So I, God, just something, just Taylor. It's just like you think everybody's got like the most you know different music taste, and then it's and it's like five through two is like oh great, oh nice, and then boom, right at the top, Taylor Swift. Gotta just gotta dominate. She's just on top. At least this year. 
Okay. Oh, this is in Spanish or another romantic language. Here we go. Top artists, August D, V, BTS, and Bruno Mars. Okay, okay. I'm getting kind of like a K poppy energy, especially with August D, BTS. Rainy Days, Love Me Again. Conceited, just like magic and closer. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Stray Dogs? I can see Stray Dogs. I could also see Jungkook. Especially with the August D in there, because I know they had that collab together. Or did they? Or, or, or was that Jimin? I forget. I'm gonna rule out SZA. I'm gonna rule out SZA. I don't, I don't think that they're, they're going with SZA. Um, there's not really a whole lot of like, R, not a whole lot of like R&B vibe from this, I would say, in, in the same way that SZA kind of is. Maybe Ariana? I'm gonna say Jung, I, ah. Uh, who's, who's, who, fuck, what, oh, God damn, what is this fucking name? RM, RM, damn. I think it's Jungkook. I just think it, I, because this is so long, I know I'm using context clues and kind of shit like that, but like, oh my God, it's Taylor again. All right, I'm saying Jungkook. Sending for Jungkook. Let's go. Oh, <gasps> Dominic Fike. <gasps> Whoa, okay. Wow, wow. Out of nowhere, dude. Love that for you though. God, his album, his album this year, I think was a lot of fun, man. It, it, and it really has, like, I, I feel like people kind of slept on it, honestly. But, yeah, wow. What a crazy, just out of pocket. Like, I I was feeling, like, the, the K-pop energy, and here you go with just artist. Damn. Damn. What a twist. What a twist. All right. This is so much fun. I wonder how many, how, how many we have left. Uh, there's not really a way for me to tell, I don't think, but, oh well, that's okay. Okay, top artist, Taylor Swift, SZA, Dua Lipa, and Miley Cyrus. The top songs <laughs> are all Beyonce songs. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the queen. The queen bee, yeah! Dana, let's go! Pretty predictable on this one, you know, but hey, I don't blame you though. Fantastic album. So much fun, so much fun dancey energy. This um, this lineup though definitely does give me a little bit of like maybe maybe try out some like smaller artists this upcoming year, you know, like reflect back on this, you know, nothing wrong with listening to your faves, you know, not at all, but you know, just imagine you know like a a, a little guy up there, well, you know, a little guy like maybe like a little Eloise or maybe like a little uh, you know, Grace Anger. I bet you, I bet you would fuck with Grace Anger, dude. Hell yeah. Let's go. Spamming Renaissance. Dude, it's it's a good album. And I feel like what the uh the movie's coming out or the the tour documentary or something like that. God, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to watch that on a uh, on Patreon. It 124,000 minutes listened. Jesus Christ, you listen to a lot of music. All right. Top artists, Taylor Swift, Paramore, My Chem and The Academy is. Wow. Holy shit, what a throwback to the Academy is. But, okay. So what I'm seeing is 157,000 minutes is not normal. No, it's normal. I mean, I don't, I don't know who you are, you know? It, it's probably, it's normal for, it's normal for you. I mean, any more than that is, I just feel like, wow, you just must never turn it off, you know? Like, you, you make that premium work for Spotify, you know? That's, that's what I'm saying. But, okay. Paramore, Taylor Swift, Mike Hem. A little bit of like the pop rock energy in here. It's the band kind of aesthetic. Taylor is definitely the sneak a little bit. I'm seeing maybe maybe Fallout Boy, you know? But then again, I feel like they're more No, that is still pop rock. Yeah. Cuz these are like big big name brands, you know? Like when I think when in terms of like the pop rock sphere, these are the big the big guys, right? Fallout Boy. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty... Imagine Dragons? I don't know. I don't know about that. Because I do see the elect Electra Touch in here, and that is Fall Out Boy. That is the feature with Taylor Swift and Fall Out Boy. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Fall Out Boy. Let me go Fall Out Boy. Let me see Fall Out Boy. Yo! Oh my god, I almost didn't even... 
recognize them. They're so... <laughs> They've aged so well, but so, you know, they all look like adults now. Holy shit. I take Swaymanism very seriously. What is Swaymanism? Swemo? Oh, Taylor Swift and Emo-ism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, good shit, man. Good shit. This is so funny, though. Just Taylor being in there <laughs> alongside all these, like, old school kind of legendary uh like pop punk kind of stuff wow shout out suimos dude didn't even know those existed that's so funny suimo <laughs> it's like no i'm emo this is who i am I, I i this is this is my aesthetic but i do fuck with taylor so she is the fucking goat okay you gotta admit okay wow our first joshua bassett let the comments roll in Top genre is K-pop, though. Interesting. Okay. No K-pop artists on the list, except for maybe that top spot. 199,000 minutes. Oh, my God. Deep in Felix, no clue. She said, he said, S-Class just love the sound. Top dude, what the fuck is... This one is throwing me for a goddamn loop, dude. What the fuck is going on here? Maybe Olivia? Stray Kid? I'm thinking maybe it's got to be like twice, <laughs> right? Right? Or like some, or like BTS, you know? Twice BTS, Stray Dogs, New Jeans. Ooh, could be New Jeans. I do know New Jeans fans go absolutely insane. I'm saying Stray Dogs, dude. Yeah! Oh, not dogs. <laughs> I'm so sorry, K-pop fans. I am so sorry, K-pop fans. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Fuck. There's so many of them, dude. <laughs> How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why does the one dude, why the fuck does it look like a like a homosexual harem, dude? Like what the fuck? All these dudes with and there's only one dude with this different hair color. Why does this guy get to be the main character? What the fuck does he do? I'm so curious. <laughs> Stray dogs. I'm sorry. Stray kids, dude. Deep End Felix. All right. All right. We're listening. I got it. I got to hear this shit. Have you been? Ooh. I guess you're fine. Oh, shit. It's been pretty long since oh we've lost it. Oh, my God. The low voice. What is happening? Is he going to change into something fucking crazy? Because I really like this. Yeah, that is super fucking sad. I can't you that's your top song? Oh my god. Whose Whose is this? I see some taste in here. Keshi as a number 2. I feel that. Hmm. The 1975. I don't know who the Ivy is. And then we have a little bit of Troy Savant. Okay. Sabrini Weenie coming in here. Oh, and 55, 51 minutes, 51,000 minutes. Listen. Okay. Top genres pop. Sabrini Weenie coming in right here. But See Through and What Am I Missing are also from the same band. That band being the one Camino. And uh, Little Miss Lizzie McAlpine up here too. So this. I feel like Lizzie might be a little too long of a name, so I feel like that's 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 oh that's that actually actually I don't know. But I will tell you what though. Whoever's music taste this is, they're the cutest little little girl I've ever seen. They are. And I and I and I love this person very much. And I feel like they might be married to me, actually. <laughs> Dude, if this is the band Camino up top, this is Angela's. Yeah! <laughs> baby, baby. Hey. Hey. Is this you? Yeah. It is? 
Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Very cute. Very cute. Had to give yourself a little bit. Hey, this is a lot of fun, dude. Well, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Appreciate. Oh, 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 my, oh, mine. Oh, mine. All right. All right. I guess we'll do mine. Damn it. But before I get into mine, I have to. I have to give you a an explain an explanation. Okay. I listen. When I listen to music on Spotify, you got to know that it's like my, it's my job, okay? So a lot of this doesn't really reflect like my own, you know, I mean, it does, but it doesn't. It's just, I don't know. It's, it was, I'll, I'll just have to show you. I'll just have to show you. Okay. I'll just have to show you, but here we go. I'll go through them all like this. My top genres were pop. Rap next. See, this is. See, I'm actually glad about this because people don't think that I listen to rap, but I do listen to rap. Yes. And Pop you'll rap. See. Yes, you will see how much rap I actually listen to. Uh, Hyper pop, indie pop, and then indie POV. My top songs, dude. It's just all this Toby Lou and Ferrata project, and I'm so mad. Like, actually, I, I, I actually am really upset because I look forward to this every year to hopefully, hopefully just get a little bit of variety into like what I listen to throughout the year. But because I listen to the artists that I love so much, it ends up just flooding my Spotify. <laughs> like I'm so glad Ryan Beatty made the cut because I, because y'all know that the Ryan Beatty project was my album of the year. It really is. And it's like none of those songs get any love just because all I fucking listen to is the Toby Lou project. And also this Toby Lou project is also very short. And the reason that I do listen to it so much is because it's like, what, 22 minutes or something like that. I throw it on whenever I hop in the shower and I shower a lot. So it's like, you know, it's, I hope you shower. I do shower a lot. So yeah, top artist is Toby Lou for me as well. You know, top 0.1%, which is pretty tight. This is just funny. Honestly, because I don't listen to podcasts. I used to. I used, I used to listen to a lot of Tiny Meat Gang. But then I started, like, being an actual internet person myself. And I, my time just really filled up, you know. Like, I'll usually watch the TMG podcast or, like, Insanely Chill uh, from Cody, like, on YouTube. Like, I watch the YouTube videos. But I wanted to try Brooke and Connor because I know that they're funny. But I didn't even make it, like, 25 minutes... <laughs> Into the, into the damn podcast, and I was like, yeah, I don't think I don't think podcasts are me any like they're not, just not for me anymore. <laughs> so I'm sorry. This this makes it look like I really didn't like Broken Connor's Make a Podcast podcast, but I just I just I grew out of podcasts. So I'm sorry. And here we go. This is me in 2023. This is actually really cool. I uh, I thought this was like the coolest thing about the Spotify they did this year. I'm a, apparently a hip a, a hip hypnotist. Hypnotist. Call me Django the Hypnotist. Hypnotist? Hypnot hypnotist? Hypnotist. Uh, your concentration is absolute, friend. You like to play albums all the way through from opening track to final note. I do! Because it's my job! <laughs> it's my job! This is my official Spotify rap for 2023. And before you judge, just let me explain, okay? Okay, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, 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 okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain the Panic of the Disco, okay? The reason... The reason Panic... <laughs> the reason Panic... The reason I'm panicking now. The reason I'm panicking, yeah. The reason I'm panicking now, because of Panic of the Disco, is because I did that fucking long-ass video with my friend Sergio... Go check out that video, by the way, where we ranked or we tier listed every or we 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 did a bracket trying to determine the best Panic of the Disco song. And it was a lot of fun, honestly, but not enough fun to totally fuck my goddamn Spotify wrapped. <sighs> Above Ryan Beatty. I am ashamed. I am so so embarrassed.
God damn it. And yeah, Taylor's up there. But she's up there also because of the amount of fucking Taylor that has come out this year that we have listened to for my career. So yeah. Yeah, Spotify doesn't really reflect my own personal tastes when it comes to stuff like this. I mean, it does a little bit. As you can see, the outliers here, Toby Lou and Ryan Beatty. Ferrada in here is also Toby Lou. It's just, it's the same project, and all these songs are from the, that exact same project. But if I was to actually give you guys my top artists for this year that I actually listened to, if I was the one that made my Spotify, it would be this. Toby Lou. Ryan Beatty, Muna, Troy Sivan, and Breakins. So yeah, it's that's that's probably where I would actually be. And the reason that it's only 10,000 minutes listened is because I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. I guess I don't listen to music that much. I guess I'm the most fucking normie of normies ever, which just I I I'm wrestling with truthfully in my brain but <laughs> so i hate taylor yeah oh, okay okay yeah, yeah 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 for sure for sure for sure um so yeah it's chaotic and i hate it and i'm i pray one day that i will just you know I, i'll just make a separate spotify account this year so i'll just listen to all my music and then i'll have the other one y'all have a fantastic day i'll catch you in the next one follow me on all my socials Check out the Patreon and uh, stay happy, healthy, and strong, bitches. Wait, wait. What?